All right, is eating your nuts gonna stop you from results and getting the ultimate goals achieved that you're looking for? Probably. Most people, what I'm finding, 20 years ago, we didn't even talk about this much because it just wasn't a problem. Now, the idea of eating abundance of nuts is, is extraordinary. It's, it's absolutely absurd, to be honest. It's, it's excessive. And the reason why is because all the nut flowers are coming out and, and people are going, well, I, I, I need, if I'm eating low carb or keto, I need snacks, I need to eat these things. And, but they're eating abundance of it all. I mean, you want to start putting stocks in nuts because people are eating a crazy, a crazy, crazy amount, but that's not good for a couple reasons. I'm gonna dive into a couple reasons. One's more of a global long-term reason. The other one is gonna be more of a results-based reason. I'll start with that right now. So from a results-based business or reason is that at any given time, you should probably have, let's say a fourth of a cup to a half a cup of nuts a day, generally. That's it. Think about a nut flower and how many nuts you're actually consuming at one time. It's excessive. Doesn't mean you wouldn't do it from a holiday and holiday perspective or a special dessert or a special birthday. That's called you know celebrating in moderation. But what's fine, what I'm finding is people are doing this constantly. Day in, day out, they're eating tons of nuts. Well, if you're that hungry for a nut or for nut butters or for things, you're not getting enough substantial proteins and nutrients from your food. So you need to be eating better. You need to be eating cleaner, healthier foods. Uh, if you're a vegetarian, you need to be eating cleaner, healthier foods. If you're a meat eater, you need to be cleaner, healthier foods. More green leafy vegetables, low carb vegetables, more clean proteins, healthy proteins, natural proteins and eat more of those so you're not craving the nuts so much. And why do I recommend that? Well, because just the profile of nutrients, you can get plenty of nutrients from a fourth of a cup of nuts a day. You don't need a bunch more, but you're, if you're getting most of your nutrients from that, you're not getting it from all the other healthy, high quality foods. So you're gonna become deficient in nutrients, which is not what you want for long-term results. The other is you're gonna get an excessive, really an imbalance in fatty acid ratio, which I'm not a big fan of. So I'd be careful with the amount of nuts you're consuming, but there's another underlying reason, and I truly believe this to the bottom of my heart, over the next 15, 20, 30 years, we're gonna see a huge increase of nut allergies. They're gonna, and it's already one of the most allergenic foods, it's gonna go rampant, just like peanuts is going rampant now. We're mass consuming something that a human species has not ever mass consumed. Go back into history to get nuts from the trees and to go get nuts, like it required a lot of work and you'd have to find a lot of trees. Now, because food's so abundant, we're over, over focused on foods that we can mass consume that we would in history never mass consumed. Right, right now, there's a lot of there's a lot of raspberries in our area. And so seasonally, right now, we would have eaten a lot of raspberries if we were you know hunters and gatherers, but then that would have been it for the rest of the year, right? We wouldn't have kept doing it. So yeah, we maybe overloaded for a short amount of time, but over the grand scheme of the year, it wouldn't have been a lot of raspberries. And that's what our human body's used to, and it's more primitively set up to do. So be aware that allergies are gonna be coming more in the future. So this is more of a generational thing. We're gonna see a huge rise in allergies. This is my personal and professional belief because of the way increase of the nut consumption. And I don't even think it's the best way to get results anyway. So I think you're not only preventing you from getting results, you're also setting up, I think, uh, a future. And don't get me wrong, I've been guilty of this. I, I got on the wave, I got on the craze of like making different desserts with all these almond flowers, coconut flowers, and it just started becoming really excessive. And I realized that this is further from what, it's keto or it's low carb, but it's further from what we should naturally be. It should be in what, what I would consider moderation. During celebratory times, as a, as a filler, but not as a main dessert, not as a main eating source, not as a main staple of your meals, of your food, shouldn't be coming from nuts. It just doesn't make any sense. So I hope this works well for you all. If you want better results, lean towards healthy, clean foods that our body would have, our, our ancestors would have been able to consume in more of abundance. Not uh, low carb options, of course, not nuts. Uh, and seeds, not an abundance of those. Try to keep those in a very moderate level. I would stick to the fourth of a cup to half a cup a day would be probably, and a variety would be what I'd recommend y'all. So, <laughs> cheers, have a good day. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Just subscribe below if you want all the updates when we upload the newest videos on keto health, wellness, vitality. Check it out, come join us.